Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much. Okay, this is going to be a great event, okay? So we're going to work through this. Uh, we've got a lot of people to introduce and so on, but it's really exciting to be here for this thing. Okay, this is indeed a very special event, an event that has been in the making for several years now. Some say five years, five years. Uh, welcome to our annual back to school assembly and the cardinal ribbon cutting uh, that celebrates the culmination of the construction project that has led to the new Cardinal Elementary School, home of the fighting red birds. Yes. A special welcome, a special welcome to uh, Dr. Francisco Duran, our APS superintendent. Barbara Cannon, our school board chair. And, and Matt DeFerranti, the county board chair for Arlington. Like our school, this project is a process, is an exemplar of a true team effort. The planning of, for it involved APS and Arlington County. It's unprecedented. Additionally, we had a significant level of community input. It involved the central office staff, the APS Facilities and Operations Department, and a number of companies who actually did the work that you see behind me. I truly appreciate the time, the hard work and dedication, and the patience, and th this man has got to be one of the most patient people on the planet, Mr. Aji Robinson, our project manager. I mean, it's amazing that after some of our conversations that he was even still speaking to me. So uh, I'm happy that he's here today. Um, I also want to thank uh, Director of Design and Construction, Mr. Jeff Chambers. And Ben Bergen, our Assistant Director of Design and Construction. But I really, but I really can't leave out, I really can't leave out Mr. John Chadwick, who, uh, with former facilities and operations assistant superintendent who joined us today. That's, it was really great to see my man, John. <laughs> finally, finally, everyone knows, finally, everybody knows that we have a fantastic staff at McKin uh, excuse me, McKinley, at Cardinal. <laughs> I want to thank all of you, uh, all of them publicly for their incredible patience as we work through the nuts and bolts of this project. I need to specifically thank a few uh, of our other folks, um, though the, the main office crew. Uh, without my assistant, uh, Kathy Villarreal, none of the logistical pieces would have fallen into place. And uh, thanks to Gina Miller, Tammy Cantow, and Sandy Perez for wearing their thinking caps over time, over time to get this school going off the ground over the summer. And then in closing, in closing, I have a special message for all of you. It's uh, kind of neat, um, but my first principal in Arlington uh, Public Schools 29 years ago was a great man named uh, Larry Grove. He's, he was the principal at Thomas Jefferson uh, Middle School, and uh, that was my, that's where I first worked. And he happens to be, he, he happened to be the last principal at Walter Reed Elementary School and uh, where, where my good buddy, uh, Miss Rocco, actually went, home of the Stingers or whatever, right? So, uh, right, so Walter Reed Elementary School, and, and, which is now where Cardinal sits. And uh, I had invited him way back when, you know, when we weren't sure of the name, to share a few words. And uh, he's not able to be here today, but, um, but he did send this short message. He says, as the last principal of, of Walter Reed Elementary School, I was pleased and excited when Colin asked me to attend today's ribbon cutting. Soon thereafter, I was disappointed to realize that I'd be in Utah for a wedding on this date. I appreciate Mr. Brown's offer to read a statement from me. This celebration brings back many years of memories from my first day as principal at, and the, to the last day when we closed. Uh, we had a unique school. Almost every child walked to school. 
We knew every child's parents, and in many cases, we knew the child's grandparents, since many families who lived in the Westover uh, area tended to stay in Westover. Those re these relationships supported our daily, daily efforts to provide our students with a quality education. Um, families and staff work together as a team to support our children. I am confident that Cardinal shares the same commitment. Walter Reed Elementary School provided children with a wonderful place to teach and learn. As the student population uh, throughout Arlington County declined, we were all sad to see our school close. This is a wonderful day. We have an elementary school once again in Westover. That was Mr. Grove. Never, he's a great guy, still keep in touch. All right, thanks, uh, thanks to you. Thank you everybody for your contribution to what has become an unbelievable facility that will serve as a great place to educate learners for years to come. I'd now like to welcome Dr. Duran to the podium. All right, thank you, Mr. Brown. Let's give Mr. Brown a big round of applause. It, it is so exciting to be here to welcome all of you as Cardinals into your new building. I want to make a round of applause for all of our Cardinals. And what's so exciting today is that this is not just about opening up a new building. This is opening up a new community, a new school community here in Westover. Some of you have went to school together last year when it was in McKinley. Some of you have been in other schools and you've all come together now under one new roof, one new community, Cardinal Elementary. And we're so excited from all of us here at APS to be able to be here to welcome you to your new building. We have our wonderful McKinley, the mascot. Come on up here, Mr. Mascot. Come on up, come on up. And I want our mascot to come up because part of what today is about is celebrating. Let's hear it from McKinley, the mascot. Yes, yes, yes. Today is truly, truly a celebration. It's a celebration of all of us having a new school here in Westover, and I want to thank everyone who helped make this possible. I want to thank our PTA president and all our PTA, our parents. Let's give our parents a big round of applause, students. And I want to thank our amazing teachers and staff, students. Really loud for our teachers and staff. A huge special thank you to your sister principal, Miss Miller. Where are you, Miss Miller? Miss Miller! Miss Miller led the uh, Miss Miller led the committee that helped come up with the name Cardinal. So thank you, Miss Miller, for all your work putting the community together to come up with our name for Cardinal Elementary School. This is an exciting, exciting day. Um, I'm very happy to be here, but I'm most excited about what's about to come next. And that's going to hear from all of you, our students, who are here to celebrate with us and welcome you in. Before I call up our kindergartners who are going to start the day for us this afternoon, I would like to acknowledge all of uh, my cabinet and staff. If you're here, please stand up. Uh, they're sitting in the middle in the back, so cabinet members, please stand. And let's give a round of applause to them, Ms. Grace, Ms. Lock, Ms. Smith, Dr. Otley. Thank you for being here. And I don't want to take any more time from why we're all here. We're here to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. And so let's kick off with our kindergartners who will be rapping about some rules. Kindergartners, here we go.
Can you guys hear me? Okay, that was Dr. Duran's fault. Okay, just letting you guys know that. Anyway, kindergartners, you are awesome, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, next up we have uh, Barbara Cannonen to say a few words. Thank you. Oh. So now I find myself in the enviable position of being between one great performance and introducing another one. So I will try to keep my comments brief, but. Good afternoon, Cardinal Elementary, to the students, to the teachers, to all the community members who are here and our amazing staff. I'm Barbara Cannonen. I am chair of the school board. And um, I want to bring congratulations and greetings from our full school board, some of whom are here. Want to introduce them. And since it's a big space, if you could stand up, we have Monique O'Grady, school board member. She was. Also the liaison to the community process called the BLPC, the Building Level Planning Committee. She was very involved in that five-year process that Mr. Brown talked about earlier. We also have Reed Goldstein, our vice chair of our school board. You've already heard about how much work it takes to build a building like this, and so many of the adults all around the perimeter have had played a part, some of whom have worked tremendously hard. I just want to tell you three things about this school. First of all, this is the third new elementary school that we have built in Arlington since 2015. Arlington has been growing with more families and more students, and this has been a tremendous way to make sure that every single one of you and all of your fellow students throughout Arlington have the opportunity to learn in one of these wonderful um, learning spaces. Secondly, you've already heard um, from Mr. Grove's comments that this is a wonderful, walkable neighborhood school in an amazing neighborhood. I was trying to think, um, as Mr. Brown was talking, I think you've got to be the only elementary school that has a public library within walking distance of your school. You have a post office, and I'm not sure if anyone's told you, but there's an ice cream shop. <laughs> walking distance from your school. Lots of other things as well. But that's, that's got to be kind of nice to know. That's why we chose this place, right? Um, Finally, and this is the part that you all know and the amazing thing, you all are building a wonderful community here. One of the things I loved to see was as the kindergartners were singing, we had a lot of other students who were joining in who knew that song. This is an amazing community. I know there will be new as well as old friendships um, continuing to go forward from here. And we are so excited to have supported this project. We're so excited um, that you had a smooth start to the school year. And I want to say one thank you that I don't think got to be made yet because um, Mr. Brown was speaking, but somebody here did so much work this summer to make sure that your staff, your teachers, everything that was in McKinley Elementary School got moved into this building, did so much work to make sure that got done. And that is your principal, Mr. Brown. Let's give him a round of applause. He is pretty awesome. He is an awesome principal. And with that, I want to turn it back over to you all. You're doing such an amazing job. And I want to turn it over to the first grade for a song about respect. First graders.
It's about, it's about respect. It's about respect. Thank you, first graders. Awesome job. I'd like to uh, call to the podium at this time Sarah Van Velso, our PTA president. It's been a great partner for the last since we started school and everything. So, uh, Sarah, come on up. Hey, everyone. Oh, well, thank you guys all for being here. Everyone uh, up here on the podium, as well as all of you students, we are so thrilled that uh, we are able to open our beautiful new school, Cardinal Elementary. Um, some of our core PTA values are advocacy, collaboration, and commitment. And I know it took a lot of those things to bring us to this day. Uh, the PTA believes in building community and engagement as well, which I know is a key value of Arlington County and Arlington Public Schools. Um, my family was initially drawn to the Westover area because of the strong community, walkable neighborhoods that were all made possible through that community engagement. Um, you know, I remember way back in 2014, uh, I signed a petition to make the Reed School site into a neighborhood school again. Um, my oldest daughter, uh, who happens to be turning nine today, so happy birthday, <laughs> um, was only, she was only two years old at the time. And um, a walkable neighborhood elementary school seemed like the perfect way to round out this neighborhood that we loved. Um, I was so thrilled when it turned from just an idea to reality uh, by, with school board votes in 2017 and 18. Um, over the coming years, I followed the boundary pro uh, process and the building process, and I was so happy as both a parent and as part of the PTA that we were able to move the new school, uh, move most of the new school uh, from, McKen or from McKinley to our new school here at Cardinal. Um, including our fantastic principal, Mr. Brown, and our fantastic uh, assistant principal, Gina Miller. Um, it's made this transition feel really seamless, even through a global pandemic. Um, in the few short weeks since Cardinal has opened, I've really seen the vision come to life of a walkable neighborhood school uh, that our community associations all hoped for way back in 2014. Um, our kids, all of you, are able to walk to school, play on the playground, play in the community parks, um, you know, head over to Westover Village, to the Village Suites, to Toby's, and to the library right after school. Um, the PTA has big plans this year to leverage the amenities of our new neighborhood and uh, build school spirit. We're looking forward to keeping some of our old traditions from McKinley and creating new ones as a Cardinal community. Uh, we have an amazing team this year on the PTA, and those volunteers will be critical to accomplishing our mission at Cardinal. We can't wait to build community, support our fabulous teachers and staff, and have a blast while doing it. So let's fly, Soaring Redbirds. Oh, okay, and now it is time for the second graders to do the bus chant. Thank you, thank you, second graders. That was awesome. I, I do want to mention one thing. Uh, it seems very appropriate that today is National uh, Custodial Appreciation Day, and another group that made it so possible for us to get over here, hauling tables around, and you know, I was in a bad mood a lot of the time. So again, I'm surprised I have any friends, to be very honest with you, after this process. But thank you to our custodians. I want to make sure that they get a shout out. And then I'd like, to, I'd like to invite up next uh, Mr. Jeff Chambers, who was uh, very inspirational in making sure this thing happened. Jeff?
Good afternoon. Um, it's a privilege to be here listening to the soaring redbirds chirp in their new home. <clears throat> uh, all of our capital projects are complex and this one is certainly no different. Uh, to be successful, this project had to strike an appropriate balance on so many levels. Um, the project owes its success to cooperation of many individuals and staff, honesty of dialogue even when there was disagreement, inclusion of innumerable people in the planning, design, and construction of what's standing behind me. Uh, respect for all opinions throughout the process. And I want to say that this day would not have been possible without the perseverance of everyone involved with the project. I hope those um, items sound familiar to all of you soaring redbirds. The entire community rose to the challenge and every individual who played or is playing a role in this project should be proud of the results we celebrate here today. Most, of, most would be surprised to hear the number of hours, an exhaustive list of individuals and organizations who took part in the creation of this school that you're calling home. It would take far more time than is available to properly thank every individual who contributed to the facility uh, where we cut the ribbon today. However, we must recognize a few of the stakeholders. All citizen committees involved in the process, and I want to make specific recognition to the Building Level Planning Committee, with Hans Bowman, who could not be here this afternoon, as the chair in the Public Facilities Review Committee, with James Schroll, who is the chair and could not be here this afternoon. Also, Monique O'Grady, who is sitting in the back there, uh, as our school board liaison, and John Vistat, who also served as the county board liaison to this project. A lot of hours, a lot of time. Uh, I want to also um, thank all of, all of the groups and staff within Arlington County government, highlighting the Department of Community Planning, Housing and Development, Develop, uh, Department of Environmental Services and Inspection Service Division. Uh, they've all been instrumental in, in getting your facility open. And I also want to point out Aji Robinson, who is the project manager, uh, who tirelessly worked to find common ground no matter what the challenge was. Aji. <clears throat> uh, there's a lot of people that this would not be possible for. I don't want to miss anybody, so I'm going to say VMDO Architects, uh, leading the architectural and engineering team. I think we have some representatives here today. Uh, CBRE Heary, our construction manager, who made sure everything got built as it was designed by the architects. Uh, and Gilbane Construction Company, I believe there's some people from Gilbane here today uh, who put this building together for us. And I also want to make sure that we, we do not forget to thank the neighbors surrounding this project. Uh, all of the neighbors uh, put up with a lot of, of noise, work, dust, and, and toil uh, to to get the result of this project. And we, we need to thank them, including the Westover Branch Library and the Westover Retailers as well. Their patience uh, supported us in getting the school open. Uh, personally, I, what I found most rewarding with this project is community action, which returned this community school to, West to the Westover neighborhood, as well as the continuing work to find a solution for the devastating flooding in the neighborhood uh, that is going to be done as part of this project, uh, working in partnership with the county. And most importantly, I want to say, witnessing the excitement and enthusiasm uh, of launching a new school community led by Colin Brown and his energetic staff. Um, please take, take the opportunity um, to enjoy the results of an extraordinary effort expended by many for your school. And back to more fun things that, that are happening today, I think we're going to now hear the fire drill chant from the third grade.
Thank you, third graders. Really appreciate that. Fantastic fire drill. Got to make sure we do those things right. Okay, next up, we have Mr. Matt DeFerranti, the county board chair. Welcome, Mr. Ferranti. Thank you very much, third graders. I enjoyed hearing from the first, second graders and also the kindergartners. I am Matt DeFerranti. I'm chair, chair of the county board. I'm really, really pleased and proud to be here representing the county. It's great to see all these wonderful and excited students together in one place and not virtually. Um, I also want to thank the Arlington Public Schools Division and all of you who work for our schools. Arlington's a great place to live and learn because of our schools. Students, please join me in giving a clap, a hand clap for your teachers who do so much for you. Thank you very much. I started my first job as an adult was being a teacher, and so I will never forget how important and challenging the job can be. It's exciting to be here from the county perspective because behind you, don't move, but you can look. Behind that fence is a project that we're, we are working on together as adults and as taxpayers and as leaders in this community. I know there's some neighbors who wish we had a field right now. I bet a few of you wish we had a field right now. But we don't because we, d we realized that there was a storm, a rainstorm that was so big that a number of homes in this neighborhood were flooded. And I walked through those homes and we feel that we need to work together to address flooding in this community. And so the county and the schools have worked together and really, it's the leadership of so many people who've talked today and our staff, Dr. Duran, the whole leadership committee who has made this happen. And soon, you will have your field back. Might take two years, but soon you will get your field back and all the neighbors in this community will have a better chance of not having their homes flooded, which will keep you safe. So thank you so much to the neighbors we have to acknowledge, and adults will probably nod, thank you to the taxpayers, because we are lucky enough to invest their money sometimes. And so I want to thank everyone for being here, and I want to thank each of you, the Redbirds and Cardinal Elementary, for inviting me. And I want to introduce and give you the fabulous fourth graders with Lean On Me.
Fabulous fourth graders, awesome job as always. Awesome job as always. Uh, next, we would. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming today. It's not. This is not over now. Don't even think we're leaving yet. But uh, um, just want to thank everyone for coming. Thanks for all the support of everybody who really created this situation that we now have behind me and the community that's coming together. That's going to form this new, new, new deal. So we're really excited about that. Next up, um, I would like to introduce our fifth graders who are going to be bringing me back to the 80s. I say it every year, bringing me back to the 80s with a little bit of safety dance and the Cardinals school song. Thank you, fifth graders. Awesome job. And thank you to Ms. Bartholomew and Ms. Johnson. And uh, thanks to all our teachers who helped get this together. And now, if we could have our ribbon cutters assemble themselves, please. And our fifth graders, yeah, our fifth grade ribbon cutters, please come on up. Oh, we, oh, Justin, Justin, one last thing. Uh, we would like to do the Cardinal School song before we ribbon cut, but you can do it from where you are. Thank you. 